بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أفضل المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين Today we will speak about Islamic manners We must understand Islamic manners to have good behavior Islamic manners are the closest way for winning the heaven that is closest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala A true Muslim follows these manners But before we learn the manners, we must know who is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the sky and the earth and He alone controls everything in it. He sees all of the creations and hears them. The world and hereafter belong to Him. He is the first and the last. There is nothing after Him, above Him and under Him. Everything will be destroyed except him. He is greater than anything else. The manners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the important manner in our, in our life. Love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who chose for, you, for us Islam without we asking him. He controls everything in our life. He always opens his door for our for us and always forgive us Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one who covers our mistake we must love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more than we love anybody in our life we must be always think about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in every single moment in our life he must be number one in our list, fill our heart by the love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Worship Him sincerely. Our worship can never be accepted if we are not sincere with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Thanks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for His blessing. He gives without asking. We must know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always with us, watching over us and hearing us. He knows our secrets. Know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is hearing us before we speak and perform any action. Always mention Him by our tongue and by our action and by our hearts. Care about his word. Read the Quran with understanding and follow every rule in it. Abide by your boundaries as a slave. You cannot say this is halal or haram without knowledge or proof. We must ask the people who have a knowledge. Accept destiny, even we like it or not. Because we must know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most merciful. He always does what is good for us. Trust that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. And when we ask or need something, just ask from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because he alone can give us. If we love somebody, we love him for the sake of Allah. Alone. Always think positive, even in hard time. We trust that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does the best thing for us even if we don't understand the wisdom for difficult condition. Never feel jealous that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives someone more than you because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always fair. Don't be afraid of anybody in this world except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the manners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Insha'Allah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to have these manners in our life, Ya Rabbul Alameen.
سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك استغفرك ربي واتوب اليك اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبد الله ورسوله والعصر ان الانسان في خسر الا الذين امنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر